We now live in an era where there is a positively surprising amount of sapphic media releasing on a fairly regular basis, to the point where it can be difficult to get a good grasp of just how much is out there, especially when it's imported from non-English speaking countries. Because of this, we used to do a monthly blog series called Girls Love Roundup, where we listed as many localized English releases of Girls Love Media as we could find releasing in a given month to help people get their bearings. Well, Girls Love Roundup is back in video form. So first of all, a clarification of terminology. Girls Love, or GL, is a Japanese genre term for sapphic media. It's synonymous with yuri, which is the more commonly used term. We use both interchangeably, but either works. They do not have separate meanings, and Japanese audiences use both in the same way. So now, let's get a good look at what Girls Love Media have been localized into English in January 2023. In Europe at least, sometimes the dates shift a week or two in either direction for North America and other English-speaking countries. Starting with localized books, we have seven volumes of manga, manhwa, and light novels that were released in English this month. We have two we want to highlight in particular among these. First, the tenth volume of Adachi and Shimamura, published by Seven Seas. This volume sees our titular leads tackling the New Year and Valentine's Day together for the first time since they started dating. If you watch the anime, you have a year's worth of story to catch up on here. Second, Vampires, published by Denpa Books. Vampires is a really good lesbian vampire story with a very diverse cast of characters and tense drama. The second volume has Arya, the vampire, transferred to the main character Ichika's school. She also brought along her deeply problematic butch vampire guardian to become the school nurse. Other girls' love books this month include the third volume of Gunbered X Sisters, the fourth volume of I'm in Love with the Villainous manga adaptation, the second volume of the raunchy comedy I'm Not a Succubus, the second volume of the popular manhwa Pulse, and the third volume of Yuri Espoir, another manga. Of course, with a new year comes a new season of anime as well. And while there's only one show this season that's firmly in the sapphic romance genre, it's a good one. In the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady, we follow the love story between Anis, a princess who have relinquished her claim to the throne, and Yuffie, another woman whose reputation is tarnished when the prince of the kingdom breaks off their engagement. It's an extremely well-made adaptation of the original light novel by Piero Carasu, and we actually want to make a separate video on this series because of how good it is. But for now, the four episodes that were released in January are by far the best ongoing anime right now. And if you haven't checked it out yet, you should, as you rarely get girls love anime of this caliber. It's available on Crunchyroll. And while they're not romance stories, if you want more good sapphic content and subtext, we also recommend the second season of Bofuri, I Don't Want to Get Hurt So I'll Max Up My Defense, and the new series Reborn to Master the Blade, From Hero King to Extraordinary Squire. Both are available on Crunchyroll as well. We also want to mention that the second season of D4DJ, titled D4DJ All Mix, started this month, and that the special episode bridging the two seasons, D4DJ Double Mix, also released in English. They're on Crunchyroll and YouTube. Moving on to video game localization, we have a pair of games from the same classic series to talk about this month. It was quite a surprise to us when Kogado announced they would be bringing the classic 2002 Yuri and Town Management PS2 game, Aoi Umi no Tistia, to modern systems and with an English translation at that. Tistia Legacy released on Steam on January 20th with a Switch release planned for later this year. If you're a fan of games like the Atelier series or its town building sibling Nelk and the Legendary Alchemists, we highly recommend giving this game a look. It's got a great female lead and yes, same sex romance for said lead. We actually own the original PS2 games ourselves, but can't wait to sit down with the official localization. There is also a smaller spin-off title, Tristia Restore, which was released alongside Tristia Legacy on Steam. This title has more of a minigame focus, but it's part of the same series. Both games also have demos on Steam if you wish to check them out. And with that, we're closing out the Girls Love Roundup for January 2023. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell. We just moved to a new YouTube channel, so the engagement is very much appreciated. We'd also like to say thank you to those who help support us financially. Yus, Luz Queen, Hikarina Yume, TB, Bean, Miss Nixie, Michael Rosenblum, Benjamin Schmidt, Haley Question Mark, Jacob Springwood, Sean Peterson, Spider Rebel News, Saturday Music, Kit Stubbs, Rum Ray, Rain, The Coyote, Moto, Alan C, Ahmed G, Tara T, Dale R, Beck, Rebecca L, RB, Beck Bell, Dominic V, and Simon L. If you want to support us, giving us a single dollar on Patreon, Coffee, or PayPal puts you in our credits and you have our thanks. There are links in the video description and on screen. See you next month.